What's up you guys, it's your girl Loverly and I am back with another video. You see the thumbnail and the title. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how to make a balloon garland. The theme will be boho and I'm going to be using the floral arrangement that I made in my last video. If you guys haven't seen that yet, go ahead and check out that tutorial then come back and watch this balloon garland tutorial. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and also leave me your feedback about this video down in the comment section below but without further ado let's just get straight into today's tutorial all right you guys so i'm going to be using this backdrop right here it's a fabric arch backdrop and i'm going to be attaching my balloon garland and also my floral arrangement to it it's from you backdrop the direct link for it will be in my description box down below as well as a code that you can use to get some money off of your purchase anyways i'm going to be using white white sand and also chrome gold for today's balloon garland the white i'm using is from sempertex the white sand is also from sempertex and i think there's a little bit of cala sand mixed into it and i'm going to be using this chrome gold that i got from amazon the direct link to it will be in my description box down below and i'm going to be using my electric balloon pump from medium the direct link to this inflator will be down in the description box below so i'm gonna start with my 11 inches i'm only using two sizes i think i'm only using 11 inches and five inches i'm not gonna add any larger balloons because the backdrop is so small and i want to keep it simple so i'm gonna start with my 11 inches I don't want my balloon to have a cone shape so I release some air while pushing down on the balloon so I could get a more round shape on my balloons. Then I'm going to go ahead and tie them in pairs. I'm going to be using clusters of six for this balloon garland because it's not that big of a backdrop so I want to use clusters of six. Whenever I'm inflating my pairs I always make sure that I keep one of my balloons smaller than the other one. So this is how all of my pairs will look. One will always be larger than the other. To create my clusters of six, I'm going to be wrapping these balloons together. So first I'm gonna take my first two pairs and wrap them around three to four times. Now I have my quad and I'm going to go ahead and add my last pair to it. And there you have your cluster of six balloons. This is how all of my clusters will look for all of the colors. So I'm going to go off camera, inflate the rest of my balloons, and then I'll be right back. Alrighty, you guys. So, um, you guys always ask me how many balloons I use whenever I upload a video and I don't usually count but I think I'm gonna try to start counting the amount of balloons that I use just so you guys can know so right now I have nine clusters and each cluster has six in it so like do the math when I inflate more balloons or if I inflate more balloons then I will let you guys know that hey I added an extra cluster or something like that but right now I'm starting with nine clusters and each cluster has six balloons so pull out your calculator anyways i'm going to show you guys how i create my balloon garland i do not use fishing line nor um 260s nor ribbons i just tie it by the neck and i'm going to show you guys exactly how i do that so in each cluster i'm going to you know search around for the stretchiest balloon neck and then whenever i think i have one I'm going to tie it to one of the neck in the other cluster. So I have two necks that I'm tying together right now. And then it's supposed to look like that when you tie it. And that is how I attach my clusters together. Super easy, but not for every balloon. Some balloon brands are like really stiff and the necks 
it's not stretchy enough like the latex is like really stiff so if you cannot tie it by the neck then i would suggest using ribbon or fishing line or possibly 260 balloons but this is my way of creating balloon garlands So this is my balloon garland base at the moment. I call it a base because I only have just the 11 inch clusters on it. I do not have like the five inches and like the extra clusters yet. I used eight clusters and this is what I got so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to the backdrop and then I can go in and add like any extra clusters that I have. So to attach my balloon garland, I'm going to be using these clamps plus some 260Q balloons. You guys can also use safety pins. I've shown you guys that method before when you just um, attach the 260 balloon to the safety pin and then um, insert it into the fabric. But this time I want to use some clamps. So this is another way to do that. So I have four attachment on my backdrop. I have one at the very bottom, one right here, here, and also one up here. I can add more wherever I see fit, but for now, I think that is good for the base of the balloon garland. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the balloon garland onto the backdrop. So I, I like to start from the top whenever I am attaching my balloon garlands. I created the hoop on the on the clamp just so it'd be easier to like wrap around my balloon so like here i have a hoop right here and i'm just going to wrap it around my first balloon i think i want to wrap it on here because this would be like a good place to fit my balloon onto So right there, don't worry about the clamp showing right now. We're gonna hide that later on. And since I have an attachment right here, I wanna, I can bring this down a little lower, okay. And then I'm just going to put it around this balloon. So for the bottom part of my garland, because I wanted to like um, have like a nice little flow off to the side, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I make that happen. So I like to use a water weight and then I attach it to the cluster that I have down here, just tie it in, just so it keeps the cluster in place and like the cluster won't be moving around. So now that I have my water balloon attached to the cluster, it's going to, you know, keep the cluster 
in one place and it won't like move around so now you see that little space that i have right here i'm going to be filling that space with balloon clusters so i'm going to go ahead inflate some more balloons and then i'll come back and show you guys how to add more clusters to your garland Alrighty, you guys so i went ahead and i inflated 24 extra 11 inch balloons and these are combinations of clusters made from six balloons and clusters made from four balloons so i did that for a reason so i did that for a reason some of my clusters it's um six balloons and then the other ones that i'm using as fillers they're just made with four balloons and now i have the base of my garland already on my backdrop so now i'm gonna go in and make it nice i'm gonna you know give it some life so i'm gonna be starting with the top i don't want the top to end right there i want it to end more like in the middle but still giving me space to add my floral arrangement so i have one clamp right here with a 260 balloon attached to it and i'm going to go ahead and add this cluster of white sand to it And I also need to attach it to the white cluster right here. So I'm just gonna go in and tie them by the neck. First, I gotta get a ladder. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and added the white sand right there. So now I wanna move to the bottom of the garland where I left the space. And I'm going to be attaching the fillers using 260 balloons or I'm just going to be tying it in by the neck. I see this little empty space right there. That is what we need to fill up. And I also need to add a little bit more to that white sand cluster just to make it, you know, look fuller. So first, I think I wanna go in with the white. So I have a cluster of six white balloons right here. And I also have a 260 attached to the bottom of my backdrop. So I'm going to go in and attach the cluster to this 260 right here. I'm putting it around two balloons just to make sure that it's secured. I still have like little spaces right there, but that's okay because later on we're going to be going in with our five inch fillers. So that is okay. I have like extra white sand and gold balloons. So I'm just gonna go in one at a time and add it until I get the look that, I, that I'm going for. So I think I wanna attach a gold balloon. So I'm just gonna be tying it in by the neck. like that and I have some extra white sand that I want to attach over here so if you guys don't want your balloon garland to just be going straight down on the side of your backdrop this is the technique that I like to use to like spread your balloon garland at the bottom just make sure that you add a weight to it Keep the end of the garland to the floor and then fill in the empty spot right here. Okay. All right, so you see how I just used that cluster of four to cover the clamp that was showing right there. Now I could use some gold 11 inch clusters to cover this clamp, but I also have um, five inch fillers that's coming. So I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Look. So I just inflated a cluster 
of white balloons and I'm attaching a 260 to it because I want to add it over there at the um, right under the white sand I feel like that'll just bring it all together and the flow will be complete it just looks off to me at the moment so I'm just gonna add it right here Something looks off to me, but I'm just gonna go in and add my five inch fillers and see if I can figure out what I don't like about the garland. So I'm using five inch balloons to create clusters and then I'm going to be attaching it using rubber bands. So these are my balloon fillers that I use five inch balloons to create and I'm going to be attaching them using some rubber bands super easy method I have a video showing you guys different methods or ways to attach your balloon garland to attach your balloon fillers and this is one of my favorite methods All right, you guys so here is the floral arrangement i made in the last video these are dried florals that i received from timu and i made this beautiful floral arrangement with it and i want to put it like here on the backdrop to finish it off i always love those type of look especially for like baby shower and stuff like that so i'm gonna go ahead and try to like figure out a way to attach it to this backdrop because I already know it's not going to be easy so let me figure out how I'm going to attach it first and then I'll come right back. I think I figured something out. So I have four clamps up there right now and I'm praying that it holds up and on the back of my floral cage I attached a 260 balloon. This is a floral wire that I attached a couple days ago for something else. So I'm going to be using the 260, like putting it over the clamps that's on the back job and hoping that it'll stay on there. So let's do it. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I think, ooh, it's so cute. All right, so the floral wire that I already had on there, so as you can see that I kind of put it over all four clamps, and then I still put the 260 balloon over the clamps as well, and that is how it's holding up. So, yeah. or something cute 
all right guys so that is all for today's tutorial make sure that you stay tuned to the end of this video to see how it all turned out where i'll be posting a video montage to give you a full detailed look make sure that you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up and also leave me your feedback about the final look down in the comment section below but that is all for today's video all of the link to the materials used will be in the description box below all right you guys before i forget the shout out this week goes out to Just Jack's Decor Events and they're located in Atlanta, Georgia. And you guys make sure that you go ahead and give them a follow on Instagram. Remember that if you guys would like a shout out in my next video, all you have to do is go on my Instagram page and leave a purple heart emoji on my latest post and I will possibly give your business page or your personal page a shout out in my next video but make sure that you guys go ahead and check out just jack's decor i really love this ring balloon one that she did like that is super cute and i love that she's showing her face on her page period as i said make sure that you're showing your face on your business page so that your followers could feel like a little more connected to you but that is all for today's video make sure that you guys go ahead and leave me your feedback down in the comment section below but i will definitely catch you guys in my next video bye this camera just be lean as hell to attach my balloon garland and also attach my floor a little Floral, floral, <laughs> floral. So that is it for today's. Let me make sure that this mic is on. Oh, the battery is dying. Oh my God. But I will definitely catch you guys in my next video. Wait, I need to give a shout out. Hold on, hold on. So you guys, I went ahead and removed the like burnt orange florals that I had added to the arrangement because it was throwing me off. It doesn't match the balloon garland or the backdrop. So I just left the two white floral pieces in there. And then this is what I have. And I also removed the clamp from there just so that cluster could like go upwards. So it kind of like changed the shape of the balloon garland and it, you know, it looks better to me right now.